P n b say space of polynomials of degree less than or equal to n. We needed to show that uh, P of x is an element of P n such that P of 1 equal to 0 and P of 3 equal to 0. This set uh, will be a subspace of P n. I think uh, you already done P n b vector space. We, you already show that uh, P n b vector space over uh, the coefficient addition and uh, coefficient wise addition and uh, scalar multiplication. So, all of you know P n b vector space over R. What is a P n? P n is a polynomial less than or equal to n. That will be a vector space over R. Next, we need to show that S. S is a subspace. That means S have elements, some elements from Pn. So, P of X is an element of Pn. Such that this condition satisfied polynomials. P of 1 and P of 3 will be 0. Such type of P of X from Pn. That elements are in S. We needed to show that S is a subspace. So, first we can say 0 exists in S. How to show that 0 exists in S? So, we can take 0 polynomial. 0 polynomials, 0, zero polynomial means P of x equal to 0 for all x. 0 polynomial means P of x equal to 0 for all x. So, P of 1 equal to 0 and P of 3 equal to 0. Therefore, 0 is in S. Next, you take P, Q is an element of S. P, Q is an element of S. P of x is a polynomial. That means P1 of 1 equal to 0 P of 1 equal to 0 and P of 3 equal to 0. Next, Q of x is also is a polynomial in S. Therefore, Q of 1 equal to 0 and Q of 3 equal to 0. Next, we need to say P plus Q. This sum will be in S. Show that P plus Q is in S. That we enough to show that P plus Q of 1 and P plus Q of 3 will be 0. P plus Q of 1 means P of 1 plus Q of 1. We already know P of 1 0 and Q of 1 0. So that will be 0. And P plus Q of 3 can be written as P of 3 plus Q of 3. P of 3 equal to 0 and Q of 3 equal to 0. So P of 3 plus Q of 3 equal to 0. Therefore, P plus Q of X is an element of S. So, two elements from S, that sum is also in S. Next, we need to show that scalar multiplication. P of X is an element of S. And alpha is an element of R. Alpha P of X. Show that alpha P of X is in S. So, we need to show that alpha P of 1 and alpha P of 3 equal to 0. Alpha P of 1 equal to alpha into, we know P of 1 is 0. So, alpha into 0, that will be 0. And P of 3 equal to 0. So, alpha into P of 3 equal to 0. Therefore, alpha P of X in Yes. Therefore, both of the three conditions are satisfied. Therefore, S will be subspace. This is a subspace of Pn.